Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Adkisson, and we're here at Brookfield Zoo's Animal Hospital, where today we're taking a look at some new Rodriguez fruit bats that arrived here at the zoo. We've got two teams working on a total of eight bats that just came to us from another zoo, and we're going to be putting these guys through a full examination to make sure they're in good health upon arrival before we move them over to our Australia uh, house, where they'll be joining the rest of our Rodriguez fruit bats. So we can take a look at all the teeth, which are in great condition in this animal. We're not seeing any tartar or abnormal wear in this animal. Take a look at the tongue. We'll take a good look inside the eyes. We'll take a look at the ears. We'll take a look at all of the joints, all of the digits. Everything feels really good. These are fairly young animals, so they're in great condition right now. I don't really see anything abnormal here at all. We're going to go ahead and uh, move him next door and get a set of x-rays. We're using some very uh, gently adhesive tape here to hold the bat in position so um, we can get a nicely straight and evenly positioned x-ray to evaluate the internal organs and take a look at all of the bones and skeleton on this animal to make sure that there's no problems. So all of our bats here at the zoo are individually identified with uh, these little colored bands that we put on their thumb. So these are kind of just a colored bracelet basically that let the uh, care staff individually identify the animals so that they can tell who is who without having to catch the animal up to verify the microchip number. So this animal's colors are now going to be red and blue on the right thumb. So this is actually the bat's thumb. So if you look at their wing kind of like my hand, they have all of the same bones that a human or any other animal has in their arm. Uh, so this is the thumb, and then these are the individual finger bones, and then the rest of the arm is exactly like a person's arm here uh, with the humerus and the radius ulna. So the bat is really using its uh, hand as a very modified wing. So you can see these guys have a really impressive wingspan, probably about two and a half feet of wing here um, that makes them very, very proficient flyers. We're starting to wake up from anesthesia, so one of the first things that comes back is their ability to grab with their feet because they're so used to hanging upside down from their roost. So you can see here, while he's still sort of asleep, his gripping muscles in his feet are working quite well and he's uh, able to hang on here as he recovers. So we're going to give him a few minutes to wake up all the way and then we'll get him back in with the uh, rest of his group. Bats are a really fascinating and diverse group of animals. There's over a thousand different species of bats around the world. Uh, there's both fruit-eating bats and insect-eating bats. The Rodriguez fruit bats that we're working on today are some fruit-eating bats. Most of the bats that we have here in the United States are insect-eating bats. Uh, the Rodriguez fruit bat is a critically endangered animal in its uh, natural habitat, so we're uh, doing a lot of work here from a conservation standpoint to protect these animals. Uh, but bats around the world are in trouble and there's a number of different things that you can do uh, even here in North America to help protect some of the native bat species uh, in Cook County in Illinois. Planting gardens that encourage night insects that give the bats a good food source to eat, uh, providing roosting sites for bats, all of these different things can uh, help to provide shelter and population stability for some of the North American bat species. I'm happy to report that all of the bats that we've looked at so far here today are in fantastic health and we'll be going over to Australia House here shortly to join the rest of our uh, bats here at the zoo. So be sure to stop by and see these guys the next time you're out here at the zoo.